open a web browser and navigate to api.geocon.com. Answers to frequently asked questions can be viewed by clicking the question mark in the top right corner of the screen. Detailed information about the Open API can be viewed by clicking the link at the bottom of the page. To access the API portal, you will need to create a user. Enter the required information and then click Submit. After creating an account, enter the account email and password to log in. To activate a cellular gateway or logger and collect data, an API billing account must be added to the user account. Begin by clicking the Link Account button. If you wish to use an API account that has already been created by another user, enter the account token or secret key they provided and then click Add Account. Otherwise, click Create New Account. Enter the required information and then click Submit. A secret key will be emailed to the address provided. Retain this key for future use. It is the master key for the billing account. Once the account has been created, the settings page will open. The gear icon in the top right corner of the screen is used to access the settings page. Information about both the user account and the API account can be edited from this page. Multiple users may share access to the same account using API tokens. API tokens are created and accessed in the Connections tab. The secret key and API tokens both grant access to device settings and data. However, the secret key also grants access to sensitive billing information. Do not share your secret key with anyone who should not have access to this information. API tokens are also utilized by various data visualization applications, including Geocon's agent software, to access GeoNet Logger or cellular data. To create a token, enter a name and then click Create Token. The token can be copied to the clipboard by clicking on it. Creating multiple tokens for one account allows you to share different tokens with different people. Deleting a token from the account will cause any individual or software program that is using the token to no longer be able to access the account. API tokens and the secret key allow access to all the GeoNet devices on the API account. If the need arises to separate access to multiple projects or installation sites, an API account must be created for each one. To add a GeoNet device to the account, click the Devices tab. Enter the serial number of the cellular gateway or cellular logger, and then click Register Device. Click on a device to open the device settings. Basic diagnostic information about the device is found at the top of the page. Please note that this data will not appear until the cellular service has been activated and the first data packet for each field has been collected. Activate the cellular service to begin sending data to the portal. Once the service has been activated, charges will commence on the account. When utilizing a mesh network, only the cellular gateway needs to have the cellular service activated. The loggers do not. For model 8920 series cellular loggers, each logger needs to be activated individually. The read interval controls how often the network takes a reading. There are three power mode settings. It is best to set the power level to high while commissioning the device. Check the time zone to make sure it is correct for the network location and change it if needed. Save any changes you have made by clicking the Update Configuration button. Enter a name for the device if desired and any additional notes you would like to add. Then click the Update Info button. When finished, click the back arrow to return to the previous screen. The mesh loggers 
which are associated with a cellular gateway, can be seen by clicking the plus sign next to the gateway. Click on a logger to open its settings. Basic diagnostic information about the logger will be shown at the top of the page once it becomes available. Enter the serial number of the Geocon sensor connected to the logger, and then click the check mark. The server will look up the serial number in the Geocon calibration database and populate the sensor type automatically. If the serial number entered does not appear in the Geocon calibration database, an invalid serial ID message will appear. This step is required to apply calibration coefficients when using third-party data visualization software. This feature is only available for certain piezometer, load cell, rebar strain meter, and MEMS in-place inclinometer models. Contact Geocon for specific model information. Multi-channel loggers will automatically have the correct amount of channels. Enter the serial numbers of each sensor into its matching channel. Some models can have additional channels added to them in the field by using the Add Mux Channels feature. Enter a name for the device if desired, and any additional notes you would like to add. Then click the Update Info button. When finished, click the back arrow to return to the previous screen. Repeat this process until sensors have been added to all the loggers in the network. The Billing tab is used to view billing information, including the credit card associated with the account, charges which have not yet been billed, and previous invoices. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information on installing and using GeoNet devices, refer to the product instruction manual, or check out the other tutorials available at geocon.com.